Here comes the, here comes the, here comes the, y'all don't really want it like that. Oh, yeah. Here comes the, no. here comes the, oh, here comes the, y'all don't really want it like that. Oh, yeah. Here comes the, what's going on guys? You already here on my way to Springfield, Massachusetts. Picking up Uncle Chicky from DamianChicky.com, which you guys probably saw me do a, a little skit with them where I actually got whacked. But today, today is probably the biggest day of my entire, look at all the bikes. Wow, that, that's weird because I'm actually going to meet Chuck Zito with Uncle Chicky. And if you don't know who Chuck Zito is, funny all those bikes drove by, president of the Hells Angels New York chapter, bodyguard of the stars like Liza Minnelli, Charlie Sheen, Sean Penn, uh, Mickey Rourke, the list goes on, Pam Anderson, ex-boyfriend of, of Pam Anderson. He was in the, the, the show Oz. He was in season five of Sons of Anarchy. He was in Entourage. Let's go pick up Uncle Chicky. There he is. On our way. This is gonna be so sick. What's up, guys? Chicky the Guinea 413, Damien D A M I N, and Chicky.com with Ed Pure Evil MMA. We're gonna kill it today. We're on our way to Rhode Island, undisclosed location, to see our man Chuck Zito and Bus Boss. Now, what do we got here, Uncle Chicky? We got some presents. We got the gazelles, the nasty new gazelles for Chuck Zito. Killing it with the gazelles from Damien, myself, yeah. and from Ed. And then from me and Damien to Ed for helping us along. We oh, got a shit. Salvador Ferragamo hat. That's I got, for we me? got him. That's for you, pal. Holy shit. And then we got him a brute, we got him a Bauer hockey hat. And we can't disclose who's on the other side of this, but he's shouting out and saying, take care of Uncle Chicky. And I'll just make a quick, how are ya? Ooh, but <laughs> he'll read it another time to you guys. Another little present for Ed for Thank helping Thank you us. so much, Uncle Chicky. You got it, buddy. You ready hey, to rock this out or what? It's like Christmas, we're gonna kill it. And it's like Christmas morning with Uncle Chicky and Damien every day, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're, we're on our it. way. Peace. We fucking made it. Chicky, you ready for this? We're ready to kill it, Ready to do baby. this thing? Chuck Zito's right inside. So I guess from what we understand, he's doing a martial arts event. We're gonna do some serious interviews. We're gonna kill it. Big things happening today, boys. Surprise him with the gazelles. Rock the gazelles in an interview. The gazelles. We got gazelles for the Chuck man. If we're <laughs> rocking them, he's rocking them. So, so, see what you just said? About the, the fucking scene that we did? I thought he died after the third time. I thought he would die already. I thought, no. <laughs> I, thought I was going to use this coat today. It would have been a little... Uh, oh, yeah. I just picked it up from the, the cleaner, so it's yeah. all nice. I would have been like the chubby guy. Remember, uh, what was the guy's name there? Chris Farley. Remember? <laughs> that guy in a little coat. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? We had to... What you guys don't know, like, behind the scenes before we did that skit, I had to fall like that like three times before we got... Because the first time, he was like, oh, I didn't press record. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, what Zito. Look at this guy. Hey guys. What's going on, sorry. boss? This thing it ended a lot sooner I than know, it was I know, supposed to. No, I'm sorry. How you, How you doing, Chuck? Right. It's nice How to see you. you. I'm doing well. Pleasure. Because I had uh, my banners up there and earlier. It would have been great. Oh, shoot. We my banners, I just changed them. I took my gear off everything. Yeah, yeah. Nice and relaxed. It would have been a good, uh, good yeah. little shoot there. Believe me, anything with you would be great. We brought you a little something. We brought you just for helping us up here at Gazelles. We rocked the Gazelles. All three of us. Oh. Gazelles? Gazelles. <laughs> so, I think you'll like cool, them. If you man. want to wear them, you wear them, you know? I think the black, they look good on you. Cool, man. But thank cool. you so much uh, for taking a few minutes. Well, you want to do this? We, we can do it wherever you want. I guess it's quiet over here. Yeah. But I had my banners up, I had my gear oh, on, my stars shit. and stripes gear. You've been here right at 11 o'clock. You know, Damien, he had a family emergency. He goes, no, I'll just get this. Like, oh, next time, I'll meet you. Like, too dirty, but it's yeah. tough. 2.30, I mean, yeah, it was not 3 o'clock, we were here at 2.30, but they had a fine engine, we went What time is it? 3 o'clock, 3.05. 3.05, should have been at 2.20, 2.15. <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> Sugar Ray Robinson was Walker Smith. Right. Uh, uh, um, you know, Rocky Marciano was Mar Marco Marcello. Yeah, exactly. You know, nobody used their real names. That it, when you were talking about, uh, that's the picture. When you talked about, uh, uh, I know about at the age 
to the age of the guy. You know what I mean? And you know what? There ain't too many guys that will say that. And you say it straight out. Oh, I say it straight out. Guess what? You know what? Marciano was a great. He was tough. He was, you know, rugged. But he fought all old men. Yeah. Yeah. But not too many people will even admit that. I don't give it. You know, I say it the way it is. Like you said. You know, okay, in, an, in, a, in a basket of apples, you didn't say it like this, but you know, there's one bad apple, there's two bad apples. Uh, Don't make it but out. You know what? It, 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 it's the whole well, club. That, that's what I'm saying. Right. You know, I am. I'm the proof because they said, you know, because you're a whole thing, you, you're, you're a drug dealer, you're a drug user, you're this. Yeah. I'm the proof that they're not because I never took a drug in my life, I never smoked in my life, I never took a drink in my life. It's incredible. I never even tried smoking pot, nothing. Right. So. I didn't want to be labeled because I wear a Hells Angel jacket, right. or I did wear a Hells Angel jacket when I was a Hells Angel. Uh, that you know, I'm stereotyped, yeah. and I, I, that's what I get pissed off about, and that's what I get pissed. Off. I did a did a show back in the day, uh, Carson Daly, and I said a lot I of things. I watched it, and uh, but and I, I even brought it up. Look, there's 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 a there was a big free scene that got busted at the time, thirteen cops, you know, for for uh, you know. Uh, selling drugs, loan shark, and loan shark, everything. Yeah. But you can't condemn the whole complete police department for those thirteen people. And I said, don't condemn the whole Hell's Angels for a few bad yeah, apples. Exactly. You know, I'll tell you a story. Years ago, when I was in a club, and I was at uh, Howard Stern did a a show yeah. in uh, great guy, great, great the show. Hard Rock Hotel yeah. in Las Vegas. Right. So after the show, everybody went to this place called Mr. Lucky's inside the hotel. It was a, uh, you know, a, a restaurant. Right. So I'm there, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, you know, two black guys go, "Hey, Chuck Zito, I said, can I get a picture with you?" I said, "Absolutely, absolutely." So I look over about five tables away. There's an older guy and a bunch of guys there, like a, ten guys, and. Uh, He's looking at me and looking at me. So I'm standing there. All of a sudden, he comes up and he comes over and he shakes my hand. I say, how you doing? Yeah. The black guy goes, it's Henry Hill. Oh, wow. <laughs> I said, Henry Till, you fat rat motherfucker. Get the <laughs> fuck away from me. I'll give you a fucking crack. So he went back to the table. Right. Now, he said something to me. I said, I'll come over and knock you the fuck out. And then I, then I saw it on the cameras, so all the security came oh, in. Of course. Now they came over. What's going on? I said, and meanwhile... When I'm sitting there, everybody's going up to him asking for pictures, autographs, everything. Can you imagine that? Imagine this, right? So I couldn't imagine it. But <laughs> I he couldn't was right, imagine he it. He was right there. So when the security was with me, now he said something. He got, oh, you know, yeah, of bigger Stop balls, right? Yeah, big balls. <laughs> so I ran right up to him. I said, let me tell you something. I put my finger in his face. Right. If you, if this was in New York, you'd never leave this fucking place. Right. Right? And with the other 10 guys there, I said, you guys want to hang out with this guy? These are all scumbags. Good for you. What right? a, a, unbelievable. Boom, I go back. The next night, I'm at the UFC fight. I'm sitting at the front, front row over there. The <laughs> guy comes with, 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 uh, yeah. This is real bright. So, guy comes over, he goes, hey, I'm sending of security, man, to lay back. Can I talk to you in the back for a minute? I said, yeah, sure. I go in the back, 20 cops around me, right? <laughs> you Chuck Zito? I said, yeah, you know I'm Chuck Zito. Yeah, you convicted felon? I said, yeah, you know that too. Right. Now, at the time, any any felon has to register in Vegas. Right. I didn't know that. Of course. Oh, yeah. They said, you never raised, you're under arrest. I said, for what? <clears throat> you never registered. I said, I've been here two weeks. You guys said a lot of me all, since I'm here. Yeah. Right? Now they cuff me, shackle me, yeah. chain me, everything, they bring shacks. me to the, yeah. to, the, to the jail cell. I'm there about 15 minutes, two guys walk in, head of bike, biker organized crime yeah. task force yeah. and biker, right? They came in and looked, Chuck, you never bother us, you never did this. I said, look, I don't even see the whole danger when I'm here. I go to the fights, that's right, what I do here. Right. They said, well, look, the FBI is breaking our balls to break your balls. All the guys with Henry Hill were the FBI. Yeah, there you go. So. You didn't have to call the handlers, they were so, with them. <laughs> it, it was amazing, man. So I got arrested. Yeah. And all day, all week, I'm sitting at the pool. 110 degree weather, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm sitting in a jail cell. And I'm saying, something wrong with this picture, man. <laughs> this morning, I'm sitting yeah. at the pool, and right. now I'm sitting in a jail cell. <laughs> and here's the stand-up guy's in the can, and the other guy's eating at Lucky's, or whatever yeah. the hell he is. So booth. now, 
<laughs> I get make bail the next day. Yep. They let me out. And uh, I go back to the pool that afternoon. So I'm not so, okay. I'm, yeah. Got a half a day left. So that night, my friend Vinny calls me. And he goes, look, we're all going to go to Bellagio. There's a place called Light there. You know, uh, 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 whatever they call them. I don't know what they call them now. Gentlemen's it Club, Night Club. No, no, it was, a, it, was, it was a club. It was a, uh, uh, a, a, a night club. Nightclub. 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 Yeah. Nightclub. I don't know if it was a disco thing or nightclub, whatever they called it back in the day. I yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I said, all right, cool. Yeah. So he was working at, at, at um, where was it? It was uh, Crazy Horse 2 oh, okay. at the time. Yeah. That was the biggest place. It was the Gentleman's hottest place. Club. Gentleman's yeah, Club. Big. The best looking girls, everything. He right. walks in with about 20 girls. I'm so, whoa, <laughs> this is going to be awesome, man, right? Yeah. So I'm talking to two girls, and the place was crowded. He goes, you know, that's my table too back there. Right. I saw, so I looked back there, and it was empty, and I, I take the two girls, I'm sitting there, yep. one on each side of me. Yep. So there's a table here with all booze and everything, right? And uh, we're sitting there, about 15 minutes go by, two guys come up, one guy sits, it's an L-shaped couch, and uh, he's pouring a drink, and he goes, you know who this is? I said, I don't know who this is, who the fuck are you? He goes to me. <laughs> I says, who are you? Yeah. He goes, this is my table. I said, no, it's not. Right. He goes, this is my table. Now get the fuck out of here. I said to the girls, excuse me. <laughs> I get up. I said, what did you say? He goes, boom. I hit him a shot. <laughs> out. I take his head. The other guy, boom, right into my knee. Right. right. Next thing you know. Uh, well, I got to back up a little bit. Before I got there, Nick Cage was there. Yeah. Who was a dear friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. Nick Cage is there. He's there with his fiance. And he goes, hey, Chuck, how you doing? I said, good. He goes, you know, they're doing a Sonny Barga movie. I want to do the movie. I, I said, Nick, I'm with my friends. You're with your, your fiance. I says, let's talk shop another day. Exactly. Boom. So we walk away, and then this happens. Boom, boom. I hit the guy. The other guy's nose splatters. <laughs> and now all the, all the cameras course they see this downstairs so now all the security runs up and the guy is in a place in a nightclub trying to get me out because they know no Vinny yeah so finally I go downstairs <clears throat> and they bring me to the door I look at the door and it's the, the street was like a block away I look to the right 20 feet away there's a cab there in right. front I see I'm just gonna jump in the cab get yeah, out of here right of course. I jump in the cab next thing you know like a dozen guys surround the cab. Get out of the cab. You just assaulted somebody up in a nightclub. Jesus. I get out. Of, I said, "What are you talking about?" I get out of the cab. I said, I was, I "Wasn't even in the nightclub." They said, "Look at you." I looked down at my shirt. Didn't realize it, but his nose splattered, all <laughs> blood all over me. I looked down. I says, uh, "That's cranberry juice." Yeah. <laughs> so they the said, "You told ever. me you weren't up there." So they said, "We just called the cops." And now I just got to realize, I just got out of jail that morning. Right. Oh, yeah. Now they call the cops, I'm going to get arrested again. Oh, my God. I said, uh, forget about it. You know? How <laughs> so, do you put up with it, though? I mean, just so then I said, like, wow. Know, I said, so as I'm walking, and what happened, I hit the guy, I broke my hand. I had a broken hand. Oh. So my hand swelled up. They're surrounding me. I say, man, anybody touches me, we're going to get it on right now. So now I hear sirens. I said, oh, man, you know, I said, you know, I, I hate the guy. But the guy hit me first. Let's go downstairs. We'll talk to him. We'll straighten it out. Now, you know, in every casino, there's, there's like a police station. There's a holding yeah, pen down. Yeah. So we go through these maze and everything else. We get downstairs. At the room there, there's a table with two towels full of blood. I saw, <laughs> God, I fucked this guy up pretty bad. <laughs> so I said, wow. Now... They said they're going there. He comes back. He goes, the guy's pressing charges. The cops are on their way. And I said, like, fuck. You're having a big tough yeah, time with this going, table. I'm, I'm Who going, the fuck are you? I'm, I'm going back to, yeah. to jail. Yeah. I just got out, you know, eight <laughs> hours, way. nine hours sooner. And, and I'm Here going go. back to jail. Great so with that, my friend Vinny comes, goes in, talks to the guy, winds up knowing the guy's father. He was somebody, right? right. Guy comes out. He, the guy didn't come out. Vinny came out. Look, they dropped the charges of it. The guys came from Mandalay Bay said, okay, he's not pressing charges, but you got to sign here. You're banned from here for life, right? I said, whatever. Yeah, I said, let me get out of here later. before the police come. <laughs> you know? So I, I signed it. I said, you know, fuck yeah, it, let me get out of here. Get out of 
Yeah, so that's that's what happened. I have another show that I'm shooting in California with Mike Tyson called oh, wow. The Tyson Ranch. Oh, cool. I and heard of that. I heard of that. Yeah, he's great. And he's got he's got his own weed dispenser or something. Plant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go figure. Go figure. So he might try to get you after all these years. He no, might show, oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> never happened. Never happened. I've never tried it. I've no. never tried, you know. Don't forget, when I was in school, I mean, I took a drag of a cigarette. I never liked it. I yeah. took a sip of wine, sip of beer. I didn't like it. Yeah. And I never did it. Right. And because I was training all those years, I never got into the exactly. bad habits. Exactly. And that's so, huge for a lot of kids yeah. out there going the wrong direction, doing this, doing that. Yeah. I mean, come on. You're a guy to look, you're a guy to look at and say, listen, this guy did everything in life. He's been to prison. Uh, <laughs> he's been, you know, really, he, yeah. he did a lot of things in life and you never had to turn to drugs. You never had to yes, turn to alcohol. Yes, I had some. I've had... It's been an amazing journey so far. Wow. And we're still going. That's how I started. Yeah. I, I, I was a bodyguard Charlie's first. Charlie's Angels, right? Charlie's Angels. My yeah. name was Chuck Charlie. Yeah. I, I was a Hell's Angel. I called it Charlie's Angels Bodyguard Service. Yeah. And I bodyguard everybody could Madonna. think of. Back, <clears throat> back in the day, I was known as Bodyguard to the Stars. Yeah. Back in the 80s. And that yeah. was big. So Liza, right? Liza Minnelli. Liza was Minnelli was my client. first client. Yes. Yeah. yes. So, of course, everybody came to the show, saw her. They saw me. So it went on from, you know, Liza to De Niro to Pacino to Joe Pesci to, 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 uh, uh, um, Word know, of Sylvester Everybody. Stallone, Madonna, uh, Sean too. Penn. Well, she, she was married to Sean oh, Penn right, at right. the time. Mickey so, Rourke. Yeah. Mickey Rourke, Everyone. Pamela Anderson, Cher. Oh, I, wow. I, I body got Angelina Jolie. I body got it everybody. Yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson, Elizabeth Taylor. Wow. wow. Charles Bronson, one of my heroes back in a real tough guy back in the day. Yeah. Hollywood tough guy. Wow. And, uh. Yeah, it's been an amazing journey, man. I mean, I've probably lived five lifetimes. Well, that's what I was going to say, yeah. That that other guys never have a chance to. You know, like last night, I mean, I was at the Billy Joel concert. Tony Bennett sang, 92 years old. Right after the show, midnight, I drove here three hours in a pouring rain to do this event today. So I'm all over the place. You did that a lot, huh? Like the yeah. McGregor fight, I heard you were driving all around trying to, you know, go to one house to another house to the... Uh, to the place that they're having the fight, the weigh-ins. You're, you're, you're oh, I go traveling. to weigh-ins. I, I, you know, I, I, I know Dan. Everybody, everybody's just great to me. Uh, uh, I was at UFC one in Denver, Colorado, wow. 1993, and, wow. and uh, it, it's been. I was following it. I used to go to all of them, but now they have them all over the place. Yeah, yeah. you know, now they, they're fighting in Dubai, they're fighting in Ireland, they're fighting. They're all over the place. Yeah, the so British one. I don't go. I, I can't. Right? I can't make it all of these things, but. <laughs> Denver, Colorado, because I was fighting. I, I had a, a karate tournament there right. at the same time, and Bill Wallace was one of my instructors also, oh, wow. and he was the he was wow. the announcer along with Kathy Long and Jim Brown yeah. for the first UFC. So I was already out there. Right. Huh? Yeah. Listen to that. You hear what he's saying? Yeah. If you're looking for trouble, you found it. You came to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, good, that's a good ring. My phone. phone's going off. And I'm a well, big we'll Elvis fan. Big Elvis fan. TCB. That was the best way to end this, too. So, Chuck, thank you so much for joining so us here. That's going to be my ringtone after today. That's okay. <laughs> and you know what people hear when they honor. call me? Yeah. Joan Jett, bad reputation. Oh. When you're listening yeah. to uh, uh, the ringtone. Ring, yeah. The it's ring back ring or whatever, tone, ring, whatever, ring back, yeah. whatever it whatever is. Whatever the hell it is. <laughs> so it's Joan Jett, Bad Reputation. Yeah. Who I just did WrestleMania last weekend. Oh, yeah. we, you yeah. were there? I was there. Madness, WrestleMania huh? 35. Yeah. yeah. I was at WrestleMania 1 in Madison Square Garden. Wow. With Muhammad Ali, uh, uh, Liberace, <laughs> Billy Martin. Wow. Hulk Hogan, Mr. T, everybody. So now I was the number one and I was at... 35. Incredible. I was at UFC 1. Yeah. And now it's 236. Tonight. Yeah, right. Oh, tonight. 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 Tonight's a good fight. Yeah. I got to go find find some place to go watch that. Yeah. I, I interviewed a bunch of guys that yeah. are playing Max on Holloway's that fighting Dustin Poirier. Yeah, Max Holloway, Dustin. Yeah, he's fighting. Yeah. So thank you so much for, uh, yeah, for your time, time here. That I means everything to us. Thank, thank you, so man. Much. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I'm sorry we didn't catch you early. He had the, he had the uh, <laughs> yeah, Stars I and Strike Gi. I had my. Uh, we're going to get a picture. We got a picture. We're going to put yeah. it up. It's incredible. It's actually the, the Gi that Bill Sifu Wallace, Wallace wore. Yeah. Jeff Smith and Joe Lewis. Wow. And also Howard Jackson. They wore that stars. They were the first ones to wear it. 
So it's like a tribute to them Absolutely. that I wear it because we lost, you know, a dear friend, uh, Joe Lewis, years right, ago. Right, right. Uh, you know, brain cancer and everything else. So Shame. a lot of our friends are coming around us. That's why every day is a gift. Absolutely. You live your life yeah, every day. Your blessings every single Absolutely. day. Absolutely. A lot of people don't don't take that don't, into consideration. Don't take it for better. granted. Don't every day is a gift. Is. Thank you so much, Chuck. That wraps it up for us. That wraps here. it up. True and, gentleman, uh, true street guy, and a us. gentleman, a true gentleman. Thank and you so much, Chuck. Awesome. Thanks. That's a wrap. Awesome. Thank you so That's much. A That's a wrap. <laughs> That's a wrap. That's a wrap. And if it ain't a wrap, talk to Chuck about it. <laughs> All right, guys, we are leaving after wrapping up with Chuck. We are True street out, guy. True, true gentleman and a, and a beast.